Hello everyone, welcome to Ultra's Plays Dead Cells. I'm gonna what have we got here? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Less than eight seconds ago. Actually, that's uh, really recently. I am playing a little bit of Dead Cells before I completely hose my computer and screw everything up because it's uh. I have waffled on in the Quake episodes, I hope you're watching that series, it's really, really good, um, about the fact that I accidentally bought a few, um, nice, I bought a couple of new discs, and I'm going to completely rearrange the way my computer is arranged, because uh, I've got old crusty discs that are killing me slowly with their song out, and Crit, 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 crit. What is this? Liposuction. You went on SS. Okay. Um. Out. <laughs> Not doing too well. My mistake. Uh, I need to reinstall Windows here, and I'm going to do it on my SSD, which I'm currently using, of course, for videos to be recorded onto, as I've explained many times over and over again. Um. So. I am playing a few extra episodes of... Well, I'm playing Dead Cells for a little bit, just to make sure I've got something in the bank, because knowing Windows, once I come back from it, uh, we're not going to have any opportunity at all to uh, get things going if there's a problem when I get to the end of it all. Oil Grenade is probably okay, I guess. Uh, so we're just playing this daily for now. It's easy as anything. We just do it. It's the sewers. That's a reasonably easy uh, uh, level to get through, I think. But obviously we're going to need... We might have to do this one twice because <clears throat> uh, the previous episode, the previous daily episode that we did, was a bit of an anomaly in as much as that we managed to um, get through it on the first go. I'm already taking... Uh, a bit of extra time on this one just to get all the enemies killed and get all the points. Um, I would like to get through here without taking any damage. How do I do that? You don't. Okay, fine. <laughs> See yourself. We've picked up some stuff that I'm not entirely sure is very valuable. <clears throat> I still think that I've taken the best decision in every situation, but is an infantry bow better than a heavy crossbow? Yes. Yes, it is because it's good, and I like it. Uh, but I, I don't know. The only decision I'm not sure about is the first decision we made, which is to pick up the, uh, uh, the sadist, bo uh, sadist stiletto. Is that what we picked up? Spite sword, I'm sorry. Sadist stiletto is the other one we could have picked up, I believe, uh, which may have been a better option. I don't know. I honestly do not know. Uh, we'll find out, because if I don't get through this particularly easily, we're going to go and turn around and try the other one, basically. <laughs> I don't feel like we're getting too far right now. We're not we're not really crushing it, which is what we want to be doing. Um, which is slang for hey I wanna be better than this. So What 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 what? Excuse me? Oh, your elite power is to have a little Sims thingy that shoots me. I understand. Um, we have a uh, synergy that doesn't exist. Okay. I mean I'll just crit things while you attack me, that's fine too. Dodging plants a bomb. Not that interesting. Um, we may not want to go this way next time, even though there's all this opportunity for points and stuff. Just because there's an elite here, and I don't know if elites are that useful in the day. To be honest with you. Another question. <clears throat> Another question. Excuse me. Is the daily the same for everybody? Which is to say, I have. Uh, I'm running the beta, as you know. I'm not interested in. Shields. <laughs> I'm running the beta branch of, uh, of this game, and I'm getting beta effects, e.g., i.e., etc. Um, those elites with their silly nonsense. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Wave of denial repels all nearby, nearby enemies. If an enemy is thrown against a wall, it takes damage. That's much better than a grenade that is presently doing no value to us, for us whatsoever. So if we just attack everything right now, because of the curse, we get guaranteed crits on our sword attacks. But of course, because of the curse, we could die at any moment. So 
Uh, I think our, our um, sword attacks are actually really, really strong when they are in, in melee mode, so I'm okay with this, to be honest. And we get points for lifting the curse. I actually haven't realised that in the past. So it's almost worth taking the curse just because. I'm exploring the whole thing right now. Yay, that's what we want. I think I'll do this, actually. Oh, okay. Nothing over there to take us back. Uh, how much time have we got and where are we going? Obviously, we're going that way. I think we might have what we... What it, oh, we've only got 20 seconds left. So now we know a couple of places not to bother going to. Um, but the curse chest is probably worth taking. I mean, I could just restart. There's no way I'm beating the boss in 16 seconds. Come on, mate. You know, even with the best will in the world, we just don't have the DPS to do that. Um... And of course, I'm picking up all these stars and getting a load of points that are not going to do me any good. What's this chest? Let's have a quick look. It's the have I used the gauntlets, which are no good to me, I believe. But I don't like them. They're probably good in some respect, but I don't care for them. So we've got three seconds. That we're out. Okay, let's try again. And now that we've learned, that last second took ages. Uh, we might try the other sword. Let's try the other sword. And I'm going to try and remember where I went to, but I, I, I can't really remember, so... Uh, it is... Okay, we'll see if we can find a way of... Yeah, I think this might be a passive effect, actually. So let's try it. Okay. Apparently you have to at least touch them with the shield before the shield has any effect. Which is kind of pesky, because now I need to... Ah, but you don't have to... You don't parry with it. Okay, I missed it. So I'm going to do this, and then this, and then... Yeah, it just absorbs damage, so it pushes the enemies back and absorbs... Yeah, I don't understand shields. Uh, it's been drawn to my attention that shields are the way forward if you want to beat the boss. Um, the finalist boss, but I can't get to the finalist boss if I'm using shields, and obviously most shields uh, are going to be using... Um, going to be using... I remember this. Um, to, to, to survival, so that's that's no use either. Yeah, this is silly. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, I might just start again. I sense we might die, but this is boring, and I'm not getting any damage done. So that's the direction I don't want to go. So let's not go that way. I also don't know how to get through this particular section without taking any damage because it's. It's a tube full of goo, right? I don't see how you get through that. Well, nothing obvious anyway. Um, we do want to go to that area though. This area was okay. Not really because of the... Uh, thank you for continuing to walk and I thought I'd stop. Not really for this, but for this. A few extra points never hurt nobody. I don't like this sword as much as the other sword. Because it's hard to enable, basically, the uh, crit effect of the other sword. Because we know that there's a... Um, ow. There's a... Uh, curse chest, hither and thither. So, I mean, that's basically the only way we can enable this, is to slam into an enemy. And then <laughs> kill another enemy, which is in the poison cloud. Which just seems silly. Uh, and honestly... With the infantry bow available, it's almost silly not to take the two bows, or well, the two weapons that are easier to get crits on. Um, this one is not one of them. Because if you can get rid of the enemies nice and quick, you're going to get more points. Not that I have yet um, had any truck with points on these games, it's uh, yet to be a concern. Because now we don't have anything that will um, enable the, the... Oh, that's where the Elite is. Yeah, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's where the Elite is. There might have been something down there, but I'm not interested. It doesn't show up on the map, so I think we're okay. I don't remember there being anything there. Anyway, uh, and honestly, I've got the things that I wanted to find. I'll continue to try and stay alive here, although standing in an explosion to heal is probably not the right way to go about doing that. Um, notice that I'm not using many of the weapons that we could be using. We could just do that, look. <laughs> don't even need to get through the Elite to get the bonus points thingy. Yeah, we've not been paying attention to points in the past. This isn't an Isaac Daily. I, I really don't know what I'm doing. 
so points are not necessarily the goal here. What I'm really after is getting the um, getting the benefit for doing many many dailies in the first place. Let's go up here. Hey, this happened last time. Give me a look. See, having <laughs> right, and then we got this. What was this? Explosive decoy turns you invisible for 2.5 seconds. Attracts nearby enemies. No, I don't want that. I didn't even use this one, but uh, it could be good. Let's try it. Nothing happened. So you have to do it um, when you want the enemies to get away from you, rather than sort of... It's not a, a, a damage over time or an effect over time. It's an immediate effect as far as I can tell. Although it seems to have recharged itself nice and quickly. Do I want to go up here? No, because that's where the have a use of nonsense was. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. We should have a look up this column. We're not going to make it in time, but uh, I'm happy to report that I now know that I do not want to use the um, sword currently in my possession, so we'll be changing that over. So I've got plus 5, plus 5 right now, which is really cool, because every enemy is now plus 10. Although, honestly, I don't know if that would make much difference, because uh, if I'd gone the other way and used all my plus 5s and then used these plus 5s, don't get a plus 5 for that. Uh, I don't know if the mathematics really matter. Jump up quite too fast. There's a chest up here. We'll see what's in it. Now we know if we want to go up this chimney next time as well. There is uh, probably better than these for the boss. So I know where we need to go. Or I know where we'd like to go. Not. So we want to go down to that corner. We want to go up to this corner, maybe, but we don't really care about everywhere else. I left behind a shield here to get the infantry bow, right? So we want to go, yeah, everything else is just points at, at this uh, point. So uh, I doubt we'll beat the boss in the next 15 seconds, but we might as well go and see what's over here. It's nothing but the world's longest corridor, fair enough. Five points just before the boss. Out of time. Cool. Right. We'll take the first sword, which was better. This is not a five minute daily. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if we really need to min max it to this extent. We can probably deal with the heavy crossbow and the saber sword and then you know, a couple of the better items. Was there something over here that we wanted? Like a. Thought maybe there would be uh, a, a, a scroll of power. That's what I was looking for. I'm trying to remember where they are without, you know, going too far off the rails. Whoa, roll boost. I mean, I do appreciate that this does a lot of damage, but also, I don't think I get any benefit out of this either, do I? Wow. Somehow I did not take damage from that. All three stats increased. Why can't we just have epic scrolls of power in the real world? I like this third kick that some of these swords do. Is that actually on the description? Spike sword? No. <laughs> because if we never get hit, it's never a problem, right? We don't need to worry about perceptions and what have you. Let's go and take this little path here. He did it again. Because he's a joker. Nice. I do appreciate this weapon. We want to go and get the uh, the, the, the cursed chest, because A, it has good stuff in it. Ow. And B. Uh, I, I, why won't you grab onto this? Of all the times to not grab onto a ledge, it's when it is really important that you do so. You joker. Again, someone please tell me. <laughs> There's got to be a, a trick to that, or maybe it's just guaranteed damage. Either way, don't appreciate the fact that I have to do it the hard way right now. So I do want this. I prefer it. Just because it's more easier to enable the, the, high, uh, the high damage play there. Um, the heavy crossbow is obviously already a high damage play, but it takes time. And I don't want to spend time shooting an enemy. I want the enemy to be dead in front of me. Uh, immediately and the uh, infantry bow has such a faster fire rate it's almost silly not to bother right we'll go up here 
I want to go a little bit faster than I was last time, but this time I'm not exploring. This time I basically know what I want to do. Ow. You can also use the sword because we've just been hit. I'm mostly using the bow, simply because it does more damage up close. Now we can use the sword a lot. Oh no, HP no longer matters, which is grand. Take this. Don't care about that. I'm not going to take that. Don't <laughs> fall in the... Don't fall in the goop. At the worst possible time. This thing is always here when I get back. What's all that about? Please explode. Wish they took less, took less time. Or it could be accelerated. It'd be great if they could be accelerated. <laughs> oh, I went quiet there because I was scared. Nice. Everything being plus five points at the same time as being uh, guaranteed crits is super. We decided we didn't really care about... How much time have we got? We've got a minute. Let's just leave. I know there's the opportunity for us to get a... Um... Nice. I know there's the opportunity for us to find a, uh, a, a turret, a ceiling turret up there somewhere, but I really couldn't care less. I just want to beat this boss. I think we can beat this boss on our own, really. Um, we can chuck a grenade at it every so often. Just remember its patterns, that's the only thing. Um, normally we just beat this thing up with um, you know, DPS, uh, delivering items, but we don't have that, so we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way instead. Don't forget, if you take damage like this, you can just own this thing. In fact, this is probably the best way of doing it. I hadn't even thought of that. Oh, have I taken damage recently? That's <laughs> just so silly. I have to give every credit to that sword. If you just take a bit of damage and then punch it, you're probably going to be able to tank it, quite honestly. I have successfully uploaded the score. We have three more to do before we get a reward, so thank you for watching this episode. I hope that it was an enjoyable tidbit for you, and I hope that you will join me in the next, which is going to be a normal run. And hopefully there will be enough videos in my backlog for me to fix any problems I have with my computer, because very soon I'm going to ruin everything. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you.